In the proud kingdom of Italy, a young lad named Leonardo began an extraordinary journey. His great curiosity and love of learning made for a fascinating story. Leonardo, a curious child, was inspired by the flight of a bird while roaming across the countryside. This interaction sparked an insatiable curiosity about the mysteries of flight, propelling him to investigate the worlds of science and technology. Leonardo's friend. Hello, Leonardo. What are you always writing in that notebook of yours? Leonardo. I'm just capturing the beauty around us, my friend. There is so much to see and learn. Inspired by the grace and freedom of birds, Leonardo lovingly sketched their wings. Leonardo tirelessly tries with different wing designs, surrounded by sketches and failed creations. Confident and courageous despite his mistakes, he delved into literature and other inventors' works, working tirelessly to construct his flying aircraft. Friend. Look at the birdies! Ever wonder how they stay in the air? Leonardo. Absolutely. Imagine if we could accompany them up there. What a sight! Despite setbacks and failures in his pursuit, Leonardo's tenacity and unshakable determination drove him to learn from his mistakes and keep moving forward. Leonardo's passion draws the attention of the villagers, who crowd around to support him. Villager. What is this, Leonardo? What kind of machine? Leonardo. It's my flying machine. I'm still figuring it out, but one day I'll soar like the birds. Young Leonardo, have big dreams, said the villager. We are here to support you. A villager. Leonardo, we've brought some materials for your experiments. Leonardo. Thanks to everyone. With your help, I will crack the flight code. Leonardo seeks advice from great mentors who understand his enthusiasm. They talk about science and art, giving Leonardo crucial insights that fuel his adventure. Mentor. Leonardo, your sketches have promise. Let us go into the science of flight. Leonardo. I am excited to learn. Imagine combining art and science to achieve the impossible. Leonardo's efforts resulted in the successful design of a working flying machine, stunning the world with his innovation and inspiring adoration for his ingenuity and limitless drive. Villager. It is flying, Leonardo, you did it! Leonardo. We've done it! The birds motivated me and we touched the sky! Leonardo's adventure was not complete with his invention. Leonardo polished his skills in a range of professions, eventually emerging as a great artist, scientist, and engineer who left an indelible mark on Renaissance history. Technician. Master Leonardo, your inventions are changing the world. Leonardo said, Learning never stops. There is always more to discover and build. Children, let Leonardo's story serve as a gentle reminder to never lose sight of your dreams and to work hard to achieve or attain your goals. And you may find yourself on a path that inspires. Just as Leonardo achieved greatness by remaining focused on his dreams, every one of us may strive for extraordinary feats through hard work and devotion.
Marie is a curious young girl who has a strong drive to explore and discover new things. Marie was always reading books, particularly about science and the environment. Her modest laboratory became her sanctuary, where she immersed herself in research and experimented with her favorite subject, chemistry. One day, Marie heard rumors of a startling discovery, radioactivity. Her desire for information drives her to quickly become a self-proclaimed authority on radioactivity, devouring every available book on the subject. Marie whispers to herself, I believe I have found something extraordinary. Marie's need for information is so intense that she destroys every available book on radioactivity, leaving behind a pile of fragments. Her drive to study science knows no bounds. Marie discovers a depressing fact. Her culture forbids girls from pursuing scientific jobs. A wall of condemnation sits before her, represented by a group of people who will not let her aspirations fly. Marie whispers to herself, Just a few more pages and I'll be one step closer to solving the mysteries of science. Marie's effort and intellect paved the way for her college admission. Impressing her professors with her knowledge and passion, she approaches the gates confidently, eager to break the norms that limit her ambitions. Marie's professor likes and respects the way she challenges the status quo, but her classmates cannot believe that a girl is doing an excellent job with boys in science. Marie met Pierre Curie, a pleasant and intelligent physicist. They fell in love and became lifelong friends and scientific researchers. Marie and Pierre's paths cross as their love for each other and enthusiasm for science combine into a shared journey. They become intimate friends, going on scientific investigations into the depths of radioactivity. Marie and Pierre make history as the first husband and woman to receive the prestigious Nobel Prize in Science. Their hard work and revolutionary discoveries earned them a standing ovation, cementing their status as scientific research pioneers. Marie explicitly expressed recognition recognized her as the first woman to earn this coveted honor, dispelling the notion of gender status barriers in research. Despite a societal lack of trust, Marie emerged as a pioneer in breaking down female boundaries in science. Her continual pursuit of education served as a beacon of hope for a large number of young women, motivating them to complete or achieve their goals. Marie Curie's biography imparts a valuable lesson. With persistence, a serious and tenacious attitude, and an insatiable curiosity, one can conquer any obstacle. Always encourage curiosity and persevere in the face of adversity. A kind and gentle girl named Florence once lived in a remote region. She enjoyed playing with her toys and exploring the wonderful environment around her. But, unlike other girls her age, Florence possessed a unique gift, a heart of gold overflowing with love and compassion for all living things. As Florence grew older, her parents recognized her desire to help others. They felt she was destined for greatness. One day, a messenger arrives with news of the injured and sick troops from the Crimean War, upsetting Florence's tranquil environment. Without hesitation, Florence realized she needed to do something to assist these heroic troops. She packed her belongings and traveled to the war-torn country to offer her support. When she arrived, she was astounded to witness the awful conditions in which the soldiers were living. They were cold, hungry, and ill.
However, Florence remained hopeful. She was confident that her soft attitude and loving heart would make a difference. She stayed up all night to care for the wounded soldiers, comforting them with her soothing words and kind smile. She spent many hours cleaning hospital rooms, ensuring that the wounded soldiers had clean mattresses to sleep on. Despite the pandemonium, her meticulousness shined strongly. The troop's condition gradually improved. They were astounded by Florence's soft touch and compassion. They began dubbing her the Lady with the Lamp because she would stroll about the hospital at night, checking on patients and offering comfort and care. She's like a guardian angel in the dark, watching over patients. However, Florence's journey was not simple. She encountered numerous problems and barriers along the road. But her warmth and compassion were unwavering. She thought that even the simplest acts of compassion could have a significant effect. The supervisor questioned whether it was completely and totally extremely important to clean the whole facility. Florence responded by insisting that a clean environment is very important for healing. It also lifts one's mood. The news of Florence's generosity and dedication traveled quickly. People from all around the world were inspired by her and wanted to follow her example. Florence's hard work and determination established nursing as a respectable profession. Her belief proved to be correct. Florence's steadfast dedication revolutionized the globe, and she is today acknowledged as the creator of modern nursing. Her legacy goes on, and her gentle spirit inspires others to show love and compassion to those in need. Florence believes that gentleness has the power to transform the world. Even in the darkest moments, a little brightness may go a long way. A young child named George lived on a tiny farm with his family. He had no idea that he would one day become the first president of the United States. This is the amazing story of George Washington's constant dedication to promises and freedom. George was a curious and hard-working boy who loved exploring nature and helping out on the farm. One day, George's parents requested that he carry a message to their neighbor, Mr. Johnson. George promised to do so immediately. As George set off on his journey, he faced his first challenge, a broken bridge blocking his way. But George didn't let that stop him. He was determined to find a way across the river. George says to himself, I have to keep my word and deliver this message. Mr. Johnson is counting on me. When George arrived at Mr. Johnson's residence, he noticed a group of kids arguing near the river. They found a lost puppy, but they can't agree on who gets to keep it. George helped children overcome an argument over a lost puppy by recommending that they share responsibility and satisfy their promise together. The children agreed to George's idea, and they promised to take care of the puppy as a team. George felt proud of his solution and continued on his journey. Despite the rain pouring down and soaking his clothes, George didn't give up. He kept going, determined to deliver the letter as promised. During the Revolutionary War, George made a promise to his fellow soldiers. He promised to fight for their freedom and independence from British rule. 
George with determination. I promise, my friends, I will lead you with honor and fight for our freedom. After countless battles and hardships, the soldiers finally celebrated their hard-earned victory. They knew they could rely on George and his unwavering commitment to their cause. The people admired George's leadership and integrity so much that they chose him as the first president of the United States. He accepted the role with humility and a strong sense of duty. George addressing the people. I promise to serve you with honesty and dedicate myself to the principles of freedom and justice. As the president, George Washington kept his promises to the people. He worked tirelessly to build a strong nation and protect the rights of its citizens. He believed that keeping one's word was essential for a leader. One day, George gathered the town's children and spoke to them about the importance of keeping promises, emphasizing how it fosters trust and respect. George politely says, Kids, remember that a promise is valuable. When you make a promise, you should stick to it. It shows that you are trustworthy and helps build strong relationships. Inspired by George's words, the children decided to create a promise tree in the town square. They wrote down promises on colorful leaves and hung them on the tree as a reminder to keep their commitments. They understood the importance of keeping one's word and fighting for what is right, recognizing the power of promises and the enduring quest for freedom. In a picturesque village, a small girl named Susan B. Anthony lived with a very interesting and bright personality, sheltering sky-high dreams to do great things and make a lasting influence in the world. Born in 1820, she witnessed women's unequal treatment from a young age, such as being denied an education and having her rights limited. Young Susan looks at a no entry sign outside a school. She was driven by a desire to picture a future in which girls and boys had equal possibilities. Susan grew up with steady and strong courage and a strong desire for a formal decision on something. Despite being denied education, property ownership, and the opportunity to vote, Susan believed in women's equality and worked hard to bring about change. This way, she fought for women's voting rights, specifically the right to vote. Susan was unstoppable in her campaign for women's rights, while facing many uncomfortable situations and challenges. She knew that change, no matter how small, required patience and a strong desire. Despite her faults, Susan remained confident and brave, which will be very interesting to future generations. Susan passionately addresses the audience while encountering unfavorable looks, because she knows that equality is not a threat. It's a promise of a better world for all. Susan began a statewide tour with impassioned talks, pushing women to vigorously defend and assert their rights. Faced with criticism and the prospect of being imprisoned for her convictions, she refused to be silenced. Her voice became a guiding beacon, informing people about the critical relevance of women's rights. Susan's consistent efforts ultimately paid off. The 19th Amendment was passed in 1920, marking a watershed point in the history of women's voting rights. Susan's patience and careful labor had laid the groundwork for this massive transformation. Children are listening to Grandma Susan's wisdom. 
Susan told the children that being terrified does not preclude them from fighting for what they believe in. It suggests they're onto something big. Susan B. Anthony's story communicates an important lesson about the value of patience. She soaked up like a towel the knowledge that greatness usually comes out visible slowly. And with a steady, steady commitment, what seemed impossible to accomplish with effort or reach with work becomes doable. So, dear children, let Susan's story shake your hearts with a loud sound to remind you of the power of patience. Without thinking or caring about the extent of your goals, strongly encourage patience and strength. Who knows, you might just change the world like Susan. In the charming town of Brightville, where dreams sparkled like stars, lived a young and curious boy named Thomas Edison. Drawn to the magic of light, Thomas dreamed of making his town shine brighter than ever. Thomas. I wonder how we can make things brighter. Maybe I can find a way. Thomas set up a little workshop in his backyard filled with old gadgets and a sea of questions, and he was eager to bring his idea to life. He, along with his friends, begins experimenting with different materials to control and capture light. Thomas Tinkering. What if we could capture the light and use it whenever we wanted? Thomas tried various materials to capture and control light, facing setbacks but never giving up. Thomas with determination. Every failure teaches me something. One day, while experimenting, Thomas came up with a brilliant idea that made his eyes sparkle. With his Eureka moment, Thomas realizes that he may have found the solution to his dream. A way to make Sparksville shine. Thomas excitedly. Got it! What if we use a tiny filament to make light last longer? This might just work! Through trial and error, Thomas learns valuable lessons from each attempt, growing closer to his goal. Thomas's friend. Don't give up, Thomas. You'll figure it out. Despite setbacks and challenges, Thomas's friends rally around him, giving him the strength to keep going. In moments of frustration, Thomas fights against the urge to give up, knowing that each failure brings him closer to success. Thomas. I may not have succeeded yet, but each failure brings me one step closer to success. Thomas decided to share his invention with the people of Brightville, and a town gathering was planned. The whole town comes together, eager and expectant, as Thomas prepares to unveil his invention. Thomas revealed his invention. Behold, Brightville, our very own light in a bulb! Townspeople gasped and cheered. Thomas, you did it! You've made our town brighter! With a swift tug, Thomas unveils his creation, and Sparksville is bathed in a mesmerizing light show. Thomas learned an important lesson. That determination and the spirit of never giving up can make dreams come true. Thomas addresses the town. Remember, my friends, even when things seem tough, Never give up on your dreams! The crowd erupts with cheers and applause, amazed by Thomas's invention and the radiance it has brought to their town. From that day forward, Sparksville glowed with the light of Thomas's invention, a testament to the power of perseverance. Thomas. May our 
our town always remind us that with determination, even the darkest nights can be turned into the brightest days. Once upon a time, in a world of uncharted seas and undiscovered places, there lived a young and high-reaching sailor named Christopher Columbus. He imagined reaching faraway shores and finding new lands beyond the great ocean. He had no idea that his dreams would push him to the status of a famous person. Christopher said, I am going on a trip to find a new road to the east. I am trying to show that there is a faster way to access Asia's wealth. One sunny day, Christopher gathered his buddies and showed his desire to do great things to become a famous explorer. He expressed his desire to do great things to discover new routes to distant areas and bring back stories from the unknown. But not everyone believed in Christopher's dream. His friends were doubtful. It's too risky, they said. The journey is too dangerous. You'll never make it. But Christopher was not upset. He promised to go on a huge trip to show that dreams may come true. He built a small boat, the Fun Trip Searcher, and set out with courage. He never gave up sailing through terrible seas and high waves. The trip wasn't easy. The sailors persevered through dangerous storms, hardship, and the terror of the unknown. Doubts started to come out among. However, each challenge just strengthened his willpower. With his heart full of courage, Christopher set sail into the huge, wide area of the ocean, angrily facing up to the storm head on. One day, after weeks at sea, a cry echoed. Land ho! Christopher and his team have discovered a new continent. Excitement flared within him as he understood that his dream was no longer just a dream. It had become a reality. Christopher Columbus yelled with pride. We have completed it! We discovered a new world! This marks the start of a new time in history! However, the trip did not stop there. Exploring the unknown presented new problems. The team faced many unexpected situations. The people he met were many different kinds of people or things and communication was a challenge. Instead of giving up, Christopher promised to learn from the differences and find methods to connect. As he mixed with locals, he learned about different cultures, tried strange foods, and established lifelong friends. Christopher understood that by doing so, he not only improved his own life, but also served as a bridge between many different kinds of people or worlds spreading the message of acceptance and understanding wherever he went. Anyway, issues continued. Some questioned his goals, while others questioned his discoveries. Despite the doubt, distrust, and criticism, Christopher continued to do something hard or annoying and gave and gave a reason to do something by his desire to explore and his unstoppable belief in the importance of his work. Christopher faced each challenge head on, refusing to be distracted from his mission. His steady and strong act of being found guilty of a crime brought about others around him, and his ability to last through bad times resulted in groundbreaking, challenging things being accomplished or completed. Christopher listened to the doubts and criticisms. Rather than viewing failure as the end, he saw it as an opportunity to stand up 
accept responsibility, and make helpful changes. Christopher's toughness and desire were steady, and he attacked each challenge with a sense of ability to last through bad times in progress. Christopher looked at the crew and said, We have shown that with courage and the ability to stick with something for a long time, we can overcome any challenge. Let this trip inspire future generations. The people of the New World greeted Christopher with wide arms, ready to communicate their wisdom and accept him as one of their own. Christopher was shocked into silence by the cultures and different ways of living he met during his tour. He spent many hours learning from the locals, deepening his understanding of ideas and developing strong ties with them. They explored new land areas owned or controlled by someone, overcame difficult situations, and celebrated wins as they chased after their thirst for discovery. It's okay to tackle problems, as Christopher did. Rather than being afraid, we should see them as opportunities to learn and grow. When we face doubts, we should listen and think carefully before looking for solutions with a clear mind and a fearless heart. So, as the sun sets on Christopher's daring trip, we learn that the path to success is not always simple, but with courage, stubbornness, and a positive outlook, we can overcome anything that blocks or stops, and in a way where you're sure you are right, quickly walk into a brighter tomorrow. Helen was a young girl who lived in a small town. Despite being unable to hear or see, she had a strong spirit and a love for life. Her world was quiet and dark, but she had a strong desire to learn and explore. Helen faced many difficult obstacles, but she never gave up. Her determination made her an inspiring figure for others. One day, a glimmer of hope arrived at Helen's door. Anne, a source of warmth and light, came into her life and brought about a profound change. Anne Sullivan. I'm here to help you understand the world, Helen. Together we'll open the doors to knowledge. As Helen begins her lessons with Anne, her fingers touch the objects in front of her. Frustration fills her heart as she struggles to form words she cannot hear. Anne Sullivan. Every object has a name, Helen. We'll learn through touch and create a language only you and I understand. Helen's determination to attain independence grew stronger. Helen Keller frustrated. I want to do things on my own, Miss Sullivan. I don't want to be limited. With unwavering support from her family and the guidance of Anne, Helen finds the strength to embrace her limitations and surpass them. Anne poured water over Helen's hand, tracing the letters W-A-T-E-R on her palm. In a moment that would forever shape her journey, Helen's fingers made a connection with the sensation of flowing water. The word water formed in her mind, unlocking a world of possibilities. Helen Keller excitedly, Water, it has a name. Helen's world expanded with each passing day. She mastered reading, writing, and speaking with unwavering determination. Helen excelled in her studies, proving that even in a world of silence, vibrant ideas and limitless potential could still thrive. Helen's journey extended far beyond her triumphs. She became a passionate advocate, speaking before crowds and drawing from her own experiences to inspire and champion the rights of others. Helen Keller. Though I may not see or hear, 
I possess a voice. I will use it to advocate for the rights of those who face challenges similar to mine. Helen Keller exemplified unwavering resolve, demonstrating that a strong will can overcome any obstacle. Her unwavering determination and resilience continue to impact lives even long after her passing. Helen Keller's steadfast spirit serves as a timeless reminder that no obstacle is insurmountable. And with courage and resilience, one can triumph over adversity and leave a lasting impact on the world. Helen's incredible story can be found in books on countless shelves, inspiring generations to come. Her legacy lives on in the hearts of those who read about her, and her influence will continue to shape the world for years to come. Nicholas lived in a charming village, surrounded by rolling hills. He was widely known for his kindness, earning him the sweet and kind name of Saint Nicholas. Nicholas, a humble soul with a heart full of love for his people, found his community experiencing difficulties as winter approached. Families fought to make ends meet, and the harsh winter made things much harder. Every day, Nicholas would quietly help people in need, bringing warm clothing and food to the unluckier. Nicholas. Don't worry, my friend. No one in this village will go without warmth or a meal. We're in this together. He would go to people's homes and leave tiny gifts and extremely important things on their doorsteps, making people happy. As winter crept in with its very cold grip, Nicholas maintained his acts of generosity, making sure that no one went without warmth or food. He worked diligently, often unnoticed, yet was greatly valued by the people he helped. On Christmas Eve, the hamlet fell silent as family gathered in their houses. Nicholas, the ever-present guiding light of feelings of hope and charity, decided to spread some cheer. He left modest toys and treats for the children, knowing that even the smallest surprise might bring them great joy. The children awoke on Christmas morning to discover surprise goodies outside their homes, flooding the community with joy and appreciation. Child excitedly, Look what I found outside the door, Mom! It's a present! Nicholas grinned at the joy he had delivered, and his heart was touched by the attitude of help generosity. Word of Nicholas's generous efforts spread throughout the town, prompting others to serve their neighbors. The tradition of giving at Christmas grew stronger, paying respectful and honor-filled message to Nicholas's never-ending legacy of love and kindness. Years passed, and Nicholas's story became the basis for the Santa Claus tradition, which represents love and charity. Though the details varied throughout time, the spirit of giving remained constant, reminding everyone that the greatest joy comes from sharing with others. So the town continued to venerate St. Nicholas, carrying on the custom of giving and caring for one another, especially during the magical season of Christmas. A small girl named Anne lived in a charming, old-fashioned town. She was a cheerful, inquisitive child who enjoyed reading and writing in her diary. Anne lived peacefully with her parents and older sister in a small house until one day something tragic occurred.
When the war broke out in their town, Anne's family had to seek refuge in a secret location. They were trapped in a tiny, dim space, unable to move or make any noise. Anne was afraid and puzzled. Anne's father murmurs. We need to find a safe place, something hidden. Anne says, Look, there's a hidden entrance behind the shelf. Let's check it out. Margot says, I hope it's safe in there. Anne's mother held Anne's journal and said, Bring your diary, Anne. It may be comforting. Anne's diary provided her with comfort during the worst periods within the confines of their secret safe spot. Tears stained the pages as she conveyed her anxieties and uncertainties, seeking consolation and clinging to dwindling hope. One day, while Anne was writing, she heard some noise and insanity outside. Looking through a small hole, she noticed a tiny boy crying. He looks hungry and afraid, just like her. Anne's heart melted, and she wanted to help him. Anne asked her parents whether they might eat some meals with the boy. Anne. I noticed a boy weeping outdoors. We should help him. Anne's father expresses concern. But Anne, we don't know if it's safe. When Anne feels hopeless and angry, she recalls her father's insightful remarks. Annie, being in a state of mind when you are no longer angry with or wish to punish someone is a very profound experience. It can help us heal and move on. Her father had stated, after careful consideration, Anne decided to forgive the boy's family. She persuaded her family to eat meals with him, which they did. Anne. Dad, remember what you said? Forgiveness is incredibly powerful. Let us demonstrate kindness. Anne's mother. Perhaps you are correct. Let's give him some food. In an emotional act of charity, they shared their humble meals with the young child. Anne handed the boy food. Here you go. We want to help. The boy was surprised. Thank you. I'll tell my people about your goodness. Anne. That is what I'm saying. Spread the word of forgiveness and understanding. The young boy's increasing confidence in the power of forgiveness transformed him into a change agent, sowing the seeds of peace and unity in his own war-torn community. Since that day, Anne's family has come to forgive the people who started the war. They recognized that forgiveness was the key to achieving peace and overcoming their worries and resentment about being mistreated. Anne's father responds, let us also forgive and help others. It's time to end this dark chapter. Margot stated, I never thought forgiveness could be so powerful. Anne's mother stated, Our small acts can make a big difference in the world. Do you comprehend what occurred? The war was over and Anne's family could resume their normal lives. They were content and grateful to be alive. Anne discovered that forgiveness is a powerful tool for carrying out or measuring something that has the potential to produce or make a positive influence in the world. Anne. The war has ended! We can go back to our old lives! Margot goes on to say, It's amazing how forgiveness changed everything. Anne's father remarked, Remember, Forgiveness can bring light even in the darkest times. So, dear children, never forget Anne's story and how forgiveness transformed her life and the lives of others. Forgiveness is a great thing that can transform and brighten the world.